Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll take a look at how to take a Google SketchUp model through to be 3D printed. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Glad you could join me today. This will be a follow-up to an older video I made on how I take my Google SketchUp models through to be printed on my Solidoodle 3D printer. This is applicable to any 3D printer. Uh, I, I do like Google SketchUp, mostly because it's free. Uh, I definitely don't like the usability. I'm not that good with it, but I get by pretty well. I have hundreds of little trinkets and models I've made. This is one of them. This is a gear knob for the flight sim. This is incomplete. I only did one side of it, but it'll do for our example. So maybe to some of the more advanced users out there, you'll see some problems with this model right here and, and now, but uh, let's take this through to be printed. This is in Google SketchUp 8, and we can go under Tools, and we can export it to an STL. I have this one done in millimeters, so we'll go ahead and export it. Let's send it to the desktop. And from there, we're just going to go straight into NetFab. And this is the free version of NetFab Basic 4.9. Uh, I don't think I've ever updated this. I've never needed to. It, it works just great for me. So we'll go find our model here. There we go. So this symbol here is telling us we have problems with the model. First off, this is what I like to do. Let's let's get it sorted out to the origin because it was indeed uh, not in the correct position. Um, we can see the areas highlighted red are the ones with the problem. So let's just go ahead and do a repair on it. And nine times out of 10, this is going to work just fine. Without even selecting anything, we can just do the default repair. We can apply it, remove the old part, and we're done. That's it. This is, we can take this through to be 3D printed now. Uh, if that fails, uh, apart from the last video I showed, uh, you can do some more advanced stuff in Mesh Lab and some other programs, but if you have troubles here, there's, there's lots of tutorials out there, but there's a quick and simple way that still works. Uh, I can't believe NetFab is still actually offering this because it's an incredibly valuable service. Cloud.netfab.com. You simply upload the STL file, give them your email address, give them the units and accept their conditions, which the conditions are definitely uh, not out of the ordinary. It's pretty basic. They don't take possession. They don't do anything and Upload it to the cloud You'll get an email in a matter of minutes depending on their loading and maybe the complexity of the model and uh, You can download the repaired version and the repaired version uh, in some cases I, I find that uh, I can't fix complex models here. Uh, I just can't seem to get the errors cleared out or um, in mesh lab and uh, you just use the use the cloud service and they send it back knife I'd say probably 98% of the time I've had no problems it's been fixed every time and I get back a perfectly quality model um, yeah that's about it I hope this helps someone I know that was really basic and really quick but uh, that's really all there is to it once you uh, design your parts in Google SketchUp go ahead and uh, check them for errors in NetFab and uh, take them through to be 3D printed. If there's no errors, obviously, you can just take the STL right through to uh, to your Repetier program or whatever program you use for your print. So, hope that helps someone. Thanks for joining me today. Post a comment down below, share the video if it helped you, hit that like button, and uh, hope to see you again.